who's jiggly, uncoordinated, and an invertebrate dressed as a human man who's been hiding his true identity from his family for years? Octodad. He's an octopus. I know you never would have guessed by looking at him. Today, Brittany reviews Octodad, Deadliest Catch. I can't believe that I have not talked to you guys about this game yet. Yes, it's an old one, but it is oh so good. Octodad, Deadliest Catch is one of the most hilarious and slightly infuriating games that I have ever played. I had such a blast playing through this game, and if you are coordinated enough, you might too. In this game, you are in fact an octopus, dressed up as a human man. You wear a suit around, and you even have a family, all of which seem to have no idea that you're not a human. And you made these children with your wife, who doesn't know you're an octopus. She must literally be completely out of her mind. The gameplay revolves around the typical mundane suburban father, the octopus, completing chores and being a good husband and father and sticking to his disguise and not getting caught. Because he is trying so hard to be so convincingly not octopus, it complicates every task that he tries which is where the game gets rather tricky. You also have a foe, like every good game should, the Shiv. He's the one guy who actually suspects what you really are, and you have to do everything that you can to stay out of his grip, so he doesn't ruin everything you work so hard to hide and share with your family, your terrible secret. He's a constant pain in the butt right from the very start, but if you're quick, you can almost always escape him. I definitely recommend using a controller to play this game, even if you're on PC, because you have to control his arms and his legs separately, and using a controller makes it a little bit easier. And I will say that this game is not for everyone. It can be very difficult to control the limbs when they're just going all over the place. Octodad Dadliest Catch is the sequel to, you won't believe this, Octodad. I never played the first Octodad, but apparently it was developed by a group of students at DePaul University in 2010. These students went on to become the company Young Horse Inc., which are the same people who developed Octodad Dadly's Catch. Yay! When I first saw this game, I literally thought it was the most ridiculous game I had ever seen and totally weird and pointless. But once I started playing it, I really couldn't believe how much it sucked me in. <laughs> It is so much fun. And the good thing about it being an older game is that it's cheaper! Yay! Cheaper! Saving money! I believe that you can get it on Steam for about $15 right now. So $15 totally beats spending $60. And a good game never dies. So I can talk about old games if I want to. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching this episode of Impulse with Brittany. Talking about Octodad. Are my tentacles distracting you because this is how you play the game? <laughs> Anyways, like I say every week, if you have anything that you would like to suggest to me to go over, please leave it down below in the comment section so that I can look at it. I want to know what you guys like to see because you're always yelling at me telling me that you don't like the games I talk about. But games are expensive and I'm poor, so the cheaper the better. <laughs> Keep on playing games, stay nerdy, and I'll see you next week. Goodbye. Hello everyone and welcome to Brit's Games. I'm Brit and this is my very first adventure on this channel. As you can see, I'm playing Octodad. Here we go. Task one, clear the table. No, leave it. All right, clear this. Just get it all off that key. Impulse is produced by the Freedom Network. Ever wanted to earn revenue from your videos? Freedom offers a great partnership program which includes access to hundreds of thousands of audio tracks, sponsorships with great partners, and most importantly, a no lock-in contract. You can leave at any time for any reason. We accept everyone, both big and small. For more information, click here or visit the link in the video description.